Now, all PLC modules in AutoCAD Electrical are stored in a PLC database. Now, that includes your non-parametric and your parametric PLC modules. Now, I have a non-parametric module here in this drawing, which is our PLC database file editor drawing. So let's add that to our project. So we'll right-click, add the active drawing, yes to the project values, and as you can see, it's come up with 05 there, so it's a right-click, Properties, Drawing Properties. Let's just change that to 06 quickly, and that updates the project for us nice and neatly. Now, we still need to go to our Schematic tab here, and then we go right to the end to Other Tools here, and right at the end here, see this icon here? Click on the down arrow there, and there's our PLC Database File Editor. So when I click on that, it takes a few seconds to load up because there's a lot of information in there. It's going through the entire PLC database. So as you can see, there's our database there. It's an MDB file, a Microsoft Access file, and it's ACE PLC. Now, what we can do here is we can look at the information. Now, I've got a 1769OA8. Now, is that what I'm using in my drawing? Let's just move down. Is it a 1769OA8? Let's have a look. I doubt it. And if I look there, it's actually a 1761. I can just see it there. So basically, what has happened here is somebody has actually edited this PLC database. So what I need to do is I need to just look at how I can edit this database. It's very easy. If you look here on the left-hand side, I'm just going to minimize everything for you. And it breaks it all down into manufacturers for you. So there's ABB, Alan Bradley is AB, so if I go there like that and do a 1761, which is what I've actually got, there's those Micrologics ones that are the non-parametric ones. So was it a L10, an L16, an L20, an L32, or a special I was using? Well, we can check that, can't we? Let's have a look. And if I look there, it's actually an L16. You can just see that there. It takes a little bit of reading, but it's an L16. So if I click on L16 and then click on there, there's all of my L16-1761 PLC modules. So what I'll do there now, I'll just go for the top one. And as you can see there, you've got the option there, terminal type, input output points, wire left, wire right, and so on. Now, when I look at the attribute tags here, they're all down here at the bottom. So if I select a terminal type, like so, and look at the information there, you can see it's all there. I can put a new module in there if I want to. I can check the module specification if I want to. The style box dimensions, the settings. Let's have a look at the settings. Now the settings, when I click on it, it takes a few seconds to load up, but there they are. So you can see there, there's the block file name, top input, top terminal, top output, and here's all the sample bitmap files and the unique descriptions of them. Now there's a lot of information here. These are our terminal block settings, and there's our graphic styles there for terminal blocks as well. So I'll just cancel that there. Style box dimensions. Again, look. We can actually edit our styles here. So there's two, three, four. I can edit all of that information and actually set English dimensions or metric dimensions for the actual style box that I'm using for my PLC modules. So there's a lot of information in here. Now, I don't want to edit any of this because, obviously, my PLC modules are already set up in the database. But if I wanted to start adding my own proprietary PLC modules, I could. Now, there's a lot of information in here, and I don't want to baffle you with it too much because, at the end of the day, this is a basic concepts course. What I'm showing you here is the ability to edit a proprietary PLC module in the database to perhaps create a custom PLC module. Now, if we look at module specifications there, again, manufacturer and series type, well, you won't be able to edit those because they're fixed, but you can change the description. You can change the base addressing. You can change the rating, the module type, the addressable points. So I could create a new module if I wanted to. Let's have a look at that. If I click on new module there, as you can see, manufacturer is Alan Bradley, Micrologics L16. Let's give it a description of, let's say, just a test module. Let's pop that in there. So what kind of AutoCAD block do I insert? Well, I don't really know. What kind of AutoList file to run at a module insertion time? Again, I don't really know. But what I can do here, I can browse and find a block if I need to. 
I'm not going to in this case because I'm not actually going to edit or put a custom module in there. I'll just cancel that and I'll just cancel that. But you can see how easy it is to actually insert custom PLC modules into the PLC database file editor. So what I'm going to do there, I'm just going to close the PLC database file editor there and then we're back to our drawing like so.